Hello everybody and welcome to Roking Live. I am your host, Roking, and today I am here with someone who is known in the YouTube world for building very good stuff in Minecraft, in my opinion. Um, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> you're welcome. She doesn't, I guess, uh, she doesn't really play, technically. Like, she builds stuff and then, like, um, like, tours them and shows them off and stuff like that. Is that, is that right? I mean... Make pretty things. Let's, let's leave it at that. <laughs> Pretty things. That's uh, actually the what the low slogan or lo, yeah slogan of making, your channel. Making Minecraft prettier one build at a time. <laughs> I, would have to, I would have to agree with that too. I would have to agree with that. So, the way this works is I just ask yeah uh, I just ask questions and you answer them. It's pretty pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Right. I say that every time so new viewers <laughs> know what's what's going on here. So first one is what was the highlight of your day today? The highlight of my day. Um, let's see. Um, I got some sketch work done. Um, I'm also a designer outside of Minecraft. Like it's what I do as a job. So I was pretty happy well, about that's that. Fun. I bet that's yeah. exciting, huh? It, it's a fun job. It's like, something I really enjoy. Like graphic design. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I'd like to get into that. That'd be fun. So, um, some people don't like to give this out. But what is your name? Like your first name? No. Nope. Nope. Okay. No. Nope. <laughs> All right. Keeping it a mystery, I guess. I'm Kupo, and that's all you need to know. <laughs> all right, then. No, I, actu I actually do something a little bit different from most YouTubers. Um, a lot of YouTubers really try and, I guess, interject their personality into making their channel about themselves, mm -hmm. whereas I like to make my work about, you know, my channel instead. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So, how did you... Oh, I'm, I'm, hmm. I mean, I guess since... Do you don't really game, do you? Um, No, I do. I've... You do? Been gaming since I was like three years oh, old. Oh, okay. So then, yeah, that was how. How did you get started in gaming? Okay. Um. Well, gosh, I'm gonna be showing my age here. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I started way back on Nintendo. I had an old Apple IIe computer. Mm -hmm. Like that's how old I am. If you go back <laughs> to this time, yeah, I've I've been gaming basically since it was something that was in the home. You know. Yeah. So it's just something I grew up with and I continue to do. Um, I'm strictly PC now, though. I don't really have time for consoles or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, I won't ask you your age. I don't ask anybody that. That one would be a kind of <laughs> controversial topic. <laughs> so, um, what what is your favorite game? My favorite game? Um, well, I guess it's sort of hard to categorize because, you know, there's lots of really cool games in different genres. Yeah, um, yeah. The game that I like to play the most i guess like actually just you know sit back zone out and play yeah. uh would probably have to be fallout 3 oh that's fun i've played that quite a few times i really really enjoy the whole you know post-apocalyptic sort of sandbox storyline yeah. oh, okay. and there we're, we're being invaded <laughs> sorry about that you have horrible security here seriously where oh, where's your security guard out here oh i'm, I'm sorry i'm sorry I should, <laughs> I should hire some get some bouncers at the door exactly I'm sorry i'm sorry that won't happen again. <laughs> That's okay. So, when did you start playing Minecraft? Like, what what version was it in, if you remember? Oh gosh, um, about three years ago now. So it was actually, you know, I've been around for quite a long time doing what I do. Yeah, you're um, pretty good at it too, I have to say. Have to <laughs> well, say. well, I mean, you know, I think you know everybody starts out they make not really great things. Like like but reset. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything about it. I'm, I'm really I know you're, you know, I know holding you're, back I know here. You're, I know you were thinking it, though. I know you were thinking it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding back here. But, like, you know, everybody starts out and, you know, they, they, you start somewhere. And the more you just keep doing it and, you know, if you keep playing around with stuff and, you know, not being afraid to try things out, then you are going to improve after time. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. nobody starts out perfect. God, my first build that I did was... I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> it was that bad. You know, you want to send me a picture and I'll put it up on here or, or no? I don't even know where it is anymore. Oh. Um, I, I played with a friend for like a week on survival. And then I was just like, can you play with other people? Like, you know, lots of big servers and everything. He's like, oh, that doesn't really exist. But I found one and I've been there ever since. And that was the box of box. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're like a mod on there or an admin or something, aren't you? Yeah, I've been an admin pretty much for almost three years. Oh, nice. <laughs> like this, this February, it'll be, wait, no, this March, it'll be three years. I'll be an admin there. Oh, nice. Wow. That's pretty sweet. So, what is your favorite Minecraft mod? Mod? Yeah, mod or, or mod pack or, you know. Oh, well, gosh, I, I hate having to do this, but, you know, it, it definitely has to be the Voxel mod pack. Um, because since, I, I, you know, I, we play on just one server and we're always just working within that, yeah. you know, 
it's a combination of everything that you know you need to really make I guess working on a surf a lot easier Mm -hmm. and like I was telling you before we even started this interview um there's this really cool mod right now and I have a custom model on and if you had the mod pack you could totally see this little Google uh, character that I have I'll I'll put a picture of that up here if you want to send me that afterwards and uh, maybe maybe not maybe I don't know yeah sure okay I'll put a picture of that up around here somewhere all right already got one (laughs) we'll have that picture up here in like now there we go okay it's there Okay, and uh, I, I sense some bias in that in that uh, question in that answer. So, oh, since you're since you're in voxels, well, I don't know. the thing is, is you know, I I don't play anywhere else. Um, for me, Minecraft at this point is actually just working mm-hmm. with my partner Featherblade, yeah. and you know, we just do our own thing. Like we don't go out, we don't play the game, we don't really do anything special with it. Um, you know, we make pretty things for other people to use. Yeah. Um, people yeah. hire us for map making, uh, building spawns, all kind of really? stuff. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's that's pretty cool. So, who inspired you to get into YouTube? I don't think anybody inspired me. Um, my reason for wanting to do YouTube in the first place was actually completely unrelated to anything within the Minecraft community. I don't watch videos of other channels. I don't even watch the Vox of Vox videos most of the time <laughs> because it's just not my thing. Um, mm-hmm. Instead, I wanted to do YouTube because I wanted to use it as a place where I can sort of become more comfortable in public speaking and, you know, doing that sort of thing. Um, YouTube is actually something that's, you know, raised up my confidence a crazy amount um you know i'm a lot better whenever i speak to people or whenever i want to present something yeah that's why i got into it huh that's a pretty good answer i have to admit (laughs) so well i mean i guess i don't really you don't really need to answer this one but what do you do on youtube i mean i make pretty things no um, (laughs) no it definitely goes a lot more in depth than that um what i actually enjoy doing is i like what Minecraft can do. Um, you know, I'm not just making pretty things. What I can do in return is I can also teach others and, you know, bring a bit more of an education aspect to it. Because when you think of Minecraft and education, you usually think more along the lines of technical terms like, you know, redstone programming and all that sort of thing. Yeah. Or if you go on the other end of the spectrum, you have Minecraft and entertainment, which is people running around playing the Hunger Games and things like that. And there's no, that. there's no real, like, <laughs> sort of niche in between where you can have something that's both educational and entertaining and that's sort of what Feather and I do is we try and fill that gap by teaching others how they can sort of I guess expand imagination and get inspiration on making things that you normally wouldn't see in Minecraft yeah hmm that's that's a very good answer I don't usually say that very much but that's a very good answer (laughs) See, I told you it was all that, you know, YouTube practice and everything. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like getting good at answering these sort of things on the fly. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So do you have like a um, like an end goal for YouTube? I mean, some people will have, you know, to get partnered. I don't know if you are or aren't, but to get partnered, to get a million no, subscribers. I've, I've I mean, had a YouTube partnership for a long time now. Um, you know, for me, YouTube is just, doing what I enjoy and sometimes I take videos of what I enjoy and I put them up on my channel and that's it you know I don't I don't care at the end of the day how many subscribers I have I care about the quality of the subscribers I have I would rather people who want to come to my channel and genuinely enjoy what I do rather than just sit there and say some comment about the video itself you know I want people to be able to get something out of what they're watching because I do think there's way too much oversaturation in terms of entertainment and just sort of things like that and there's not enough focus on things you can actually get stuff from you know and absorb content wow wisdom (laughs) wisdom (laughs) youtube wisdom there you go so what kind of recording software and and hardware do you use hardware like microphone and or headset or something like that all right um do you want like a rundown of what i've used or what i'm just currently using right now Either one. I mean, heck, just a rundown. Might as well. Yeah. Um, whenever I first started, you know, my first hundred some videos were made in Windows Movie Maker. Like, I used nothing fancy. Uh, I had just, you know, a standard headset that I was recording with, and then I switched over to uh, a Snowball microphone. 
And, you know, it was a really, you know, low maintenance setup. And then one day, got adventurous. And I bought Sony Vegas, which was like 20 bucks. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, you know, I worked in there for a while. And, yeah, pretty much like, just because of the style of what I'm doing and everything, it's rather easy stuff to edit. Um, there's nothing too crazy. You know, I do go a little bit overboard sometimes with some of the stuff I do on, like, short videos and things like that. <laughs> but it's more along the lines of what you can add into it in terms of, you know, nice graphics and stuff like that. Yeah. And that's that's where being a designer definitely comes in hand because it's I, just I, like, I, oh, well, the software might not be the best, but I can make this look pretty because I've got, you know a vision in my head of how I want this to look and I can make it happen. I, yeah, I can imagine, yeah. And yeah, the only thing that's really changed is um, I got a new mic. I'm using a Blue Yeti. I've heard a so. lot of good things about that. A lot of people use them. Yeah, um, you know, I've done voice acting work as well. So, really? you know, yeah, so something like this is really nice to have. Um, you know, I have a really nice quality of I guess, sound whenever I'm yeah, sitting here. Yeah. Like, even if it's just in my bedroom, it still sounds pretty nice. Huh. That's pretty sweet. So, what is your favorite operating system? Um, you know, as a designer, a lot of people are going to think that I work off of Macs and stuff like that. No, I can't stand Macs. I actually am really? strictly PC. That's yeah. Pr that's pretty uncommon for somebody who does, uh, like, graphic design work. They usually, usually people are Mac. Yeah, well, for me, I like the um, level of customization that you can get with your computer um, whenever you're working on a PC. Um, you know, I custom built this setup a couple years ago, and, you know, it's just something that I like to play with. Like, I, I like to get into the more, I guess, hardware, technical side of stuff, Yeah. <laughs> which a lot of designers actually don't like. They just want, you know, something that looks pretty and, like you know, a, it's like going to work. Like a MacBook or something like, like that. Like a MacBook, Yeah. <laughs> They, they look really fancy. They're all thin and white and shiny. It's like, eh. and and they do the job and everything. But you know, I like to go in and I like to, you know, get exactly, really make sure get exactly what you need. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I guess the next question goes right along with that. What kind of computer do you have? Um. Yeah. It's it's full custom setup. It's actually rather old. Um. Like I think only I only have like four gigs of RAM in here. Really? Uh, yeah. Wow. It's really not that great like it was great you know some years ago when i made it but mm -hmm. not so much anymore i don't even remember which video card is in here uh it's an amd um shoot i don't have my specs offhand like i couldn't <laughs> even tell you i'm actually in the middle of um getting together um a new computer so oh, nice. yay because oh. yeah um i'm sorry go ahead <laughs> yeah Hello? yes sorry Yep. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry I interrupted you. No, it's, no, you're, it's, it's fine, it's fine. So, what, uh, here's some that are just kind of off topic. I, I have to ask it, because it's Christmas time. What do you want for Christmas? Or do you want anything at all? No, I don't really want anything. Um, I'm, I don't know, I guess I'm a little weird. I'm not very materialistic. <laughs> well, there you go. If, if I want anything, I usually just get it for myself throughout the year, and... Even then, I, I don't really go shopping that much or anything. That's, un that's uncommon, a girl who doesn't go shopping. Hmm. Um, I bought myself uh, a subscription for Adobe Creative Cloud this year. That's pretty so, much all so I really want. So did I. Yeah, um, I actually got into like doing more animation-styled stuff. Uh, and that's actually what I'm going to be working on this next year. Oh, that'll, um, be, that'll be cool. Taught myself After Effects, got a bunch of work with it, and now I'm doing some really neat stuff. That'll, that'll be fun. I'll have to check some of those out if you upload them. I have a couple of things uh, on my channel, but really nothing too major yet. But I can't say anything about this because it's still a secret, but there's going to be a really big project coming out, and I guess in a few months that I'm doing with another big YouTuber. Ooh. Can't suspense. say anything, though. The, su the suspense. I'm wondering <laughs> what it is. So, it's going to be awesome. That's all I can say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll have to wait for that. So... Um, here's another off-topic question. What is your favorite music genre? Um, I listen to a lot of music. Like, I don't know. Um, name a decade, name a genre. I probably listen to it except for country. Um, I like rock mainly, I suppose. But rock is such a general category. Like, I mean, you know, you have metal, you have progressive rock, you have, you know, just regular rock, you have indie rock. It, it's it's hard to categorize. It's more just like, what do I want to listen to today? What what mood are you in? Yeah. 
exactly. Because, you know, there might be some day where I listen to opera for a few hours and I might switch <laughs> over to, you know, black metal. I mean, I don't have a distinction between only making one sort of thing. Hmm. Very open-minded or diverse or something. I don't know. I don't know. I got nothing. <laughs> so what is one place in the world you've always wanted to visit? Uh, one place in the world I'd like to visit. Hmm. I've actually done a lot of traveling, um, but I haven't made it to the UK yet, and I think I'd like to go there. That would be fun. That would be nice. I'd like to go there too. So, you kind of mentioned something about redstone earlier. What is the most advanced thing you've built involving redstone? Nope. Nope? <laughs> Just, nope, I do not touch redstone at all. Like, I've never, ever touched it. Well, there we go. And we, you know, it's actually kind of interesting. Father and I, we, we use it in our projects all the time, but he is the guy that works on redstone 100%. And I... I work around it and I make it look nice. <laughs> You're just like, hey, you want to build some redstone? No. Nope, no, nope, not really. <laughs> he knows it's not my sort of thing. It's his specialty. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not very good at that. No, I mean, not really. So, we're at the last two questions of the day. All right. This is one that's asked a lot for a lot of different people. Why that name? Why so this wh name? Why MC Kupo? Well, I mean, that's the channel name, and my own game name is Koopo Koopo. Yes. So, okay. If you guys are familiar with the Final Fantasy series, um, I'm talking, you know, way back, not the ones that are out now. Those are crap. Don't pay attention to those. I'm talking about old school gaming back here. Okay, so there's this character in them that's like a recurring character, and they are called Moogles. And they're these little white cat bat things, and they've got pom-poms on their head and little purple bat wings on their back, and they're super cute. Is, is that and what your model is? It's a humanoid version of it, yeah. Okay, okay. Sorry, continue. And, Sorry. No, no, no. And, they, and they run around, and basically, I guess they're sort of like Smurfs in the fact that they add the word Koopo to everything. Like, it's sort of just something that's interjected into all of their sentences. And I was just like, I really like Moogles, but I don't want to call myself, you know, Moogle something. So that's yeah. where Koopo came from. Huh. That's pretty cool. I never I never knew that. That, that, that. That's what it was from. I don't really play Final Fantasy. Well, I think the old ones, you know, they're definitely worth checking out. Um, again, this is going into my sort of rant about the genre itself. Um, anything after 10 just kind of went downhill in terms of quality. Uh, it doesn't have the same feels like, you know, a lot of the older games had. It's like they put a whole, like they put too much time working on the graphics and then forgot the story and the actual gameplay. I th well, I think it's just, it's definitely sort of that, but as well um i don't know like i did play 13 i think it was and it was more just like you have to watch the content rather than you know you don't explore as much as you used to in the old games or yeah, anything like that there's some games that are like that it's kind of yeah they're boring. i really dislike that because you know that was my favorite thing to do back in you know those games yeah yeah i'm the person that runs around and talks to every person in the town like five <laughs> times just to make sure i didn't miss something that they could have said to me yeah, I'm that type of gamer. <laughs> well, there we go. So, the last question. Because people ask this a lot in Minecraft, uh, Minecraft Q&As. Why that skin? What's the... Ins I mean, did you make it? And, like, if so, what's the inspiration behind it? Well, um, with the skin that you guys see right now, not yeah. my special fancy one, um, I used to have a Moogle skin, like just a straight Moogle one, but then I decided I wanted to do something a little bit more humanoid because I was actually using my model in a couple of my videos and I wanted something like, you know, a little video presenter. So basically what we did is, um, you know, we made a base skin model of like a little girl with a pom-pom on her head and we me and a couple of my friends, uh, we came up with a bunch of different outfits to put her in. <laughs> we have like, a, one of them is like a purple coat and like skirt and another one is like a little a little suit uh this one currently is my hockey jersey um i'm a huge hockey fan so gotta wear my penguins jersey here <laughs> nice. and nice. yeah and if and if you guys use the voxel lock mud pack and you ever see me on a server then you'll see my custom one which actually is just moogle so yay moogles <laughs> nice well i guess uh that, that does it for the questions yeah, see, I mean, it doesn't, they're not, they don't take that long to answer, for the most part. No. 
No, it was it wasn't too bad. I survived. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you'll live to you'll live to build another day. Hooray! Now I've got like three building projects I need to work on like tonight, this weekend. I don't know. I lost track. I have too fun. many things. Yeah, busy, busy. I'm pretty much booked up for the next few months, actually. So it's going well. It's pretty good. It's crazy. Well, well I caught you just in time then. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> well, uh, I guess that does it. I don't want to drag this on for too long, keep you here all day. So um, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll leave links to her channel at the end so all you people can check her out. Her awesome builds, in my opinion. And uh, is there anything you want to say before we depart? Nope, I think that's well. Um, yeah, looks like we're good to go. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching. Stay frosty, and I'm out. See ya. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Rokin Live, and I'm your host, Rokin. And I just realized I don't have my texture pack on. And I am here with Mr. I Levy. How are you doing today? I it's I, Levi. Oh, Levi. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing good. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. Oh, crap. Forgot my I got my Santa Claus skin on. No, that's fine. I mean, I've got my Christmas skin on, too. I mean, it's a Christmas set. I mean, it fits. Yeah. Yeah. I know.